Basketball season is only a few weeks away at the Hall, and our Road to the Season series continues on Hall Talk. We've got a jam-packed show as I welcome in Olivia Mulvihill as well as Vinnie Paralella. They're on the panel tonight. And coming up, an interview with men's basketball freshman Veer Singh. How's he adjusting? We're going to find out. I'm John Fanta. Strap in. This is Hall Talk. This team needs to show me something for me to believe that they're going to make a run in the tournament. I think they can have a chance of going over 35 wins without a problem. Just stepping up from the four points to the 17, she's just dropping threes like there's no tomorrow. But chemistry is an underrated key in college basketball. That, that was by far the best game I've seen them play. This is Hall Talk, and that's how the chalk talks. Welcome back to Hall Talk, and I'm now pleased to be joined by one of the new faces to the Seton Hall men's basketball program, a freshman that Pirate fans will be seeing early and often. It is the six foot seven Veer Singh out of Thurgood Marshall High School. And Veer, thanks so much for taking some time with us on Hall Talk. Oh, thank you for having me. I well, appreciate it. It's great to have you. And coming in here to Seton Hall, why did you choose to play for the Pirates? Um, the coaching staff, they've been recruiting me for a very long time, since like ninth grade. So I really built a good rapport with them. Coach Shaw, Coach Hill, Coach Willard, they're always at all my games, all my open gyms. And then um, I actually played in the same AAU organization as Angel Delgado and Kadeem Carrington. And I knew other guys like Desi, Isaiah, Ish. So it just all came together. It was a really family-like atmosphere. The what has it been like to come in here to this program? And Coach Willard, uh, obviously, he's an X's and O's guy. Yeah. And in the huddle, he has a high basketball IQ. To come in here and to play for him, what has that transition been like? Um, I think more defensively than anything is where the focus has to be on. Different defensive principles, how to play the screens, how to help, hedge, zone press, zone defense. It's unlike anything I've ever been a part of before. So just understanding those new terminologies and, you know, getting in the flow of things, I think that's been the biggest adjustment that has had to be made. Let's get to the other side of things here, the culture of this program. How have the veterans been able to, while well, this is still a young team, how have the right. guys that are returning, how have they been able to help you? Well, yeah, uh, we got a lot of graduate, we have one graduate transfer, Derek Gordon, and he's been great. He's been to uh, two NCAA uh, tournaments. So that's definitely a big thing to have on your team as far as experience. Um, Braden, who's going to law school, um, he's another guy who's going to be here this year and next year. So that's like our senior you know, leadership. And they've been great as far as helping me getting adjusted to the class schedule, getting in the uh, weight room, getting in the treatment room after. It's just a culmination of all those things that they've helped me you know, get adjusted to at Seton Hall. You look at particularly where you're at, and Coach Willard has said it, we've got to be a more defensively oriented team this year. Right. And he's got length to do it. It's you as well as Desi Rodriguez who is adjusting to the three role as well. To play at that wing spot and to play alongside Isaiah Whitehead and Kadeen Carrington, right. describe what that is like to match with them. Um, well, the thing is I'm going to come and spread out the floor to let those guys have open lanes and do what they do. Um, Isaiah and Kadeen are really good passers when the defense collapses, and that's where I'll be there to, you know, step up, make big shots, and also swing the ball around. Desi can get up and down like nothing I've ever seen before, and he's a high-flying act. So it's a nice balance, I'd say, kind of me doing a different thing as far as shooting, stretching the floor, and him getting up and down and defensively and passingly. And so I think it's a good mix at the wing spot based on how we want to play. How much fun are you having right now? Thinking about November 13th, that game against Darwin, your first real yeah. game, is three weeks away there. Right. No, it's definitely very exciting, but right now I'm just trying to take it day by day because learning defense is under Coach Willard is like nothing I've ever done before. So every day I have to come in, focus, and understand, okay, this is my job today. I have to play defense. I have to close out. I have to box out. And... Though it's fun looking into the future, I'm just worried about, like, today. You know what I mean? So. 
in your mind, and while there's so many other things on your mind to get ready for the season, just to put things in perspective, what is it going to take for this team? I know you're a freshman, but in your right. eyes, what's it going to take for this team to be dancing in March? Um, I'd have to say, yeah, I'd say just meshing. You know what I mean? I mean, we're all friends off the court. I've played with a lot of the guys previously from Seton Hall. I think all of us understanding each other's strengths and weaknesses and playing to the strengths, I think that's what's going to help us mesh and get together and make a run in March. And you'll be seeing this guy on the wing for the Seton Hall Pirates. He gives them a lot of length at six foot seven. Veer Singh, a freshman that I think a lot of fans are going to love, and we've loved having you. Thank you, Veer. Thank you. I appreciate it. When we come back, it'll be Vinny Pilella and Olivia Mulvihill who join us on the panel here on Hall Talk. Welcome back to Hall Talk. Awesome to hear from Veer Singh in the show. And now we get to five burning Seton Hall men's basketball questions. And I welcome in our panel tonight, Olivia Mulvihill in what I might say is a, a purple dress that is beautiful. And then we've got tons of colors here from Vinny Paolella with a great time, my friend. So <laughs> in the fashion industry, we're off to an awesome start. How are you guys? Doing great, John. Basketball is almost here. Best time of year. And it's great to be back on and I can't wait for season to start. Well, let's get right to it, guys. First burning question, who is your men's basketball starting five? Well, John, I'm going to have to say that my starting five is going to be Kadeen Carrington, Isaiah Whitehead, Derek Gordon, Angel Delgado, and Desi Rodriguez. Why? Derek Gordon's coming in as a veteran. He's been to the NCAA tournament, and he wants to go back. I think he's going to take this team back as a starter to get to the NCAA tournament. The sophomores, they're the power sophomores. They're the posse. They're going to bring their, how they've matured from last year. You know, there's a little less pressure on them from being like the newbies. So I think that they're really going to lead this team to where we want to see them. Olivia, I'm going to agree with you for the most part, but I'm going to have to take Desi and put him on the bench and actually bring Braden Anderson, the senior, to the five spot. I just think they're going to need that little extra veteran leadership that we heard he's been giving, and they need that bigger body down there. And I think that will give Angel Delgado a better matchup at the four spot, get him going to start the season especially. I actually think we could see Desi Rodriguez in the three potentially, mm -hmm. but I agree with you mm -hmm. on the veteran positioning of Anderson. And Gordon as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. The five you bring up, though, it's not about who you start. It's how you finish. So exactly. I think in some ways we're both right in a lot of ways there, both you two. Will we see Isaiah Whitehead declare for the NBA draft at the end of this year? Yeah, I just he sat out in the beginning of the season last year. He had the injury problem. Mm -hmm. And then when he came back, he did good. But I just feel he's going to have to have a great year to really go for, to the NBA right away. I just don't see it. I see him actually stick, staying another year because of the group he's with, how they're so close. And I think they really want to do something here. See, I'm going to have to say that I can see him entering the draft. This summer he was at, you know, Steph Curry camp. You know, he's really making his way with these professional players. He's learning how the NBA works. So I think that he didn't enter the draft last year, obviously, because of his injury. We didn't get to see what we really wanted to see from him. But this year, you know, if he stays healthy and if he can take – if he can show how he can lead a team, mm -hmm. I think we can really see him in the draft. Will we see him in the draft? I know you can. Make your call your shot right now. Yes, and I think he'll be best dressed at the draft as well. On top of that, <laughs> can the backcourt of Whitehead and Carrington survive with such little depth beyond them? I know this is a huge concern. I, I Honestly, I don't. I also think there's going to be a lot of movement at the one, two, and then also in the three. You know, I think Kadeen and Isaiah, Isaiah's actually had some, you know, problems last year you saw him get in foul trouble a lot that's because he's a defensive player he likes getting up in the guy's face mm -hmm. he likes going after the ball same thing with Derek Gordon so I think he's going to have to step up and also transition I think there's going to be a lot of movement in those three spots I think the freshmen are, might even see some time there's going to be a lot of moving parts like we saw last year in those positions. Like Vinny said, I don't think it's going to be just up to Whitehead and Carrington. I think they're going to have to bring in different positions. So like Vinny said, we're going to see a lot of movement this season, bringing in freshmen, you know, like we said with Veer Singh. He's used to this team. He's played with Angel Delgado, you know. He kind of knows how they operate. It'll just, it'll take a while for these freshmen that are coming in to really understand how the Big East operates. So that's why I think that Whitehead and Carrington are going to be key since they know how the conference operates. It's just it's not going to be that easy. No, it's not going to be easy. And I think mm -hmm. you have to look at it. Mm -hmm. Seeing is six foot seven. Yeah. I mean, yeah. he's not going to play the one or the two. He'll be so at the three. He'll be at the four. three. They've got options at the three. Mm -hmm. They don't have options at the one and the right. two. Mm -hmm. It's up to those two to be able yeah. to survive. 
So I think the success of this team heavily depends on that, which yep. gets to our next questions here. What will it take for Kevin Willard to be the head coach of this team entering 2016-17? I think they're going to have to they're going to have to repeat what they did last year in out of conference play. They had a good out of conference play last year. I know that. Mm -hmm. They trickled towards the end, but they they finished strong. What I think they're going to have to do is make a splash at the Charleston Classic. I think that's they're going to have to be able to play some big teams. They're going to be in the spotlight. That's where they can really say, "Hey, we're Seton Hall basketball." And I think he can help get them, you know, they, he needs to get his players to understand that. And mm -hmm. then they're going to have to do a lot better in conference play. They're going to have, I would say, at least 10 games in conference play. and then 10 move, wins. Yeah, at, at least 10 wins. And then, again, move into get an NIT spot or an NCAA bid. They need something to really, you know, for him to stay and as a head coach. Yeah, like Vinny mentioned, the postseason is really going to be key. We can't get out in the first round of the Big East tournament. Again, you know, that just wasn't cutting it. Last year, a first-round loss to Marquette, that doesn't look good on the team's mm -hmm. position or on Coach Willard. So he, they we're going to have to really – push it, like Vinny said, with out-of-conference play, but taking it the entire season and trying to get into the postseason. And these are all his guys. There's, you know, exactly. there's no question or anything. This is Good really point. his mm -hmm. team. Like I know it's been transitioning a little bit, but these are him. Yeah. This is all no, his. It's on him to have success. Class. He recruited this class. Now they've got to live up to the hype. He's mm -hmm. going to need to show why he recruited this class. Yeah, well, we have to see from the results mm -hmm. of this team because you, know, you look at them and they just didn't peak at the right time last year. Mm -hmm. But they tell you now, we know how to lose. We know how to handle losing. So we know how to be able to respond from losses. Um, and, and they know how to win. They knew how to get it done over Villanova and then before that over St. John's. So the final question here, where do you see the Pirates finishing this year? If you have a win total, if you have a postseason, well, what do you see them doing here, Olivia? Well, I'm going to go off of how they were projected to finish seventh in the Big East. I'm going to be bold here and say that I think they, can, they really have a shot to finish fifth. Why? Because a lot of the Big East teams are so young. There's about 80 freshmen and sophomores in the Big East right now. You know, kids that aren't used to playing in the Big East, aren't used to even playing in college. So I think with the help of Derek Gordon, Braden Anderson, and the sophomores who played in the conference last year, they can really try and make a run for it and try to be, you know, try and exceed the expectation that the Big East gave us for this year. Fifth in the Big East, that's good enough for an NCAA tournament, Bert. The my eyes, Vinny? Yeah, I'm kind of agreeing with the preseason poll so far at the seventh spot. I just think as of right now, it's a good spot for them to be in, and it gives them an opportunity with a, to run with a chip on their shoulder to really go after it. These guys, you know, Kadeen, Desi, Angel, and Whitehead, they want to go out there and show, we're not these young guys. We're not just regular sophomores. Let's get out there. And I also think bringing in guys like Veer Singh and Sofer to really help them spread the court, they're going to also want to come in strong. And they don't have as much pressure as these guys did last year. Mm -hmm. So they're going to come in almost under the radar. But I'm going to have to agree with the preseason poll at seventh right now. But I do see the, uh, ro uh, the room to improve for that, from that. It all comes down to whether a sophomore class can be able now to grow up from last year's mistakes and, and really be able to live up to the hype that was presented towards them. Guys, it's almost time. It's hard to believe it is almost time for basketball to be back at Seton Hall. Thanks so much for being on here, Vinny and Olivia. We're, we're well on the way. Final thoughts from you guys? No, I, I'm really looking forward to this year, what this young group can do, and I'm really looking to see all these freshmen, you know, what they can bring in. I've heard a lot of, you know, talk about them. Seeing he, Veer here today was great. Got a lot of insight from him, especially with Derek Gordon and the other upperclassmen. You know, like Vinny said, I'm really excited too. You know, we didn't really touch on Miles Card, but I think he'll be a really mm -hmm. interesting player. So I'm excited to see him play too and, you know, help out Angel Logato. Overall, I'm just so excited for basketball to start. And watch out for Michael Enzi as well. Remember that name, Pirate mm -hmm. fans. For Vinny Palella, Olivia Malvi Hill, we're almost at hoop season. Continue to stay tuned to Pirate TV as we lead up to the year in Pirate Hoops. This has been Hall Talk. So long, everybody.